over here, uh, very last knee replacement, 153 to 35. So actually, remember our proportions, we're getting twice as many proportionately looking at the content now on the organic one. So knee replacement, knee surgery. We need to get found more for those. That's what we paid. We uh, The intent is getting people to come in here and learn about knee replacement and, and lower knee surgery. So we need to provide the content. We need to optimize Rediscover Your Go to get found. Because when we look for knee replacement now, we do not see it at all because it isn't there. We don't have any content that gets us there. What we want to look at also is local markets. It's very difficult to get ranked up here. So if I put in here knee replacement Nashville or Nashville, Tennessee, and I want to get found, I need to be able to hit a page that says knee replacement Nashville, Here's all the doctors, and it's Smith & Nephew content. And this is where I think our bigger long-term opportunity exists. I know there's a lot to get your head around, but it is uh, what's going on. And I've got one last thing to show you, and this is uh, Raven Tools. And I ran some background things on, um, on our competitors. And let's go and look and see what I found. And here's what I wanted to show you. We've got Get Around Me, Rediscover Your Go, uh, et cetera, that we've got, um, we, we've got some research that we did on these. I pulled these guys up just to kind of get an idea, and we'll compare and, and contrast these guys. So here we're comparing and contrasting rediscoveryourgo.com with getaroundknee.com and provenknee.zimmer.com. And this is probably going to be a surprise, but look at uh, Zimmer all lit up in green over here. Now, what we're looking at are a couple of different things, and this is a, a, a specialized search engine tool uh, for doing analysis. And what we're seeing is from the backlinks perspective, rediscover your go, had a few more than get around me, but look at Zimmer. Zimmer went nuts, and what they did was they spent a lot of money on backlinks from anywhere and everywhere. This is not a really good tactic to get necessarily get found, and in fact, Google is kicking people out left and right because of uh, abnormally high backlinks, but... You can't just deny the results from the citation and trust flow and domain authority, which helps them show up more often. Theoretically, they're very high. Uh, looking at Get Around Knee, uh, very similar except uh, the backlinks. Now you can't. You got to take this with, with a grain of salt, but you guys are are more or less the same. However, uh, about Striker.com is another hip and knee site. This is not their company site. This is specifically about uh, hip and knee, and, and I'll pull one up and show you about striker.com, and you can see that this is focused on hip, knee, and shoulder. Here's an iPhone app, here's patient stories, etc. So you see that it is really focused on knee, hip and knee pain. And that one has significant uh, number of backlinks again, and we've got the trust flow and all of that. So we got to remember all of this. These are some site metrics that really aren't uh, uh, that big a deal. Your site loads the fastest because there's nothing on the front page, right? Uh, there, it says here there's no robots.txt, which you really need. That is what something that uh, uh, the, the search engines need. But I'm not going to get into the, uh, the details of it. But looking at some of these things that we have, a, it looks like a little more integrated strategy, not necessarily a paid campaign, but a little more integrated strategy across the board from um, the guys over there at uh, Striker, And so this is something we have to keep in mind. And as we go and do our, our uh, more in-depth results, we'll look at how we can drive both 
patient retention and conversion because we're delivering them the content that they're seeking. That's how you win long term. That's how you get uh, more. We, we start getting these numbers to go up and we didn't really look at it, but our average visits, I'm sure if we added it up, is around 30 something uh, a day. And we can do better than that.